Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have got this loading screen, more leaks and news to talk about related to the upcoming Centurions promo in FC24. With the biggest question still being, will any of these new Centurions icons that they're going to be releasing be affordable? We're going to talk about that in a crazy, unexpected day of content yesterday on Wednesday and look forward into today on the market with Rivals Rewards. Maybe should you save those for this new promo? We'll cover that as well and a lot more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start really quickly with yesterday's content and there is a lot of it. So we're going to go through it pretty quick, but we did get a brand new team of the week featuring a team of the week, Antoine Griezmann. Now there were three cards, Griezmann, um, Goretzka and Frimpong were all extinct. Griezmann was extinct at 800,000 coins, Frimpong at 150, and Goretzka at 350. They are now no longer extinct as they should be. Guys, these cards, their price ranges were a bit too high. And really, it's just weird. It's weird now with these team of the weeks that are maybe okay, but not that insane. Even though EA drops 100k packs, 50k packs, and even a 30k pack, I think it was yesterday in the store, these cards still were extinct for a hot minute and there was not a lot of supply for them. And they dropped down because they really should not have been extinct at those prices. Griezmann does have the finesse shot, uh, playstyle plus, of course, making it maybe a little bit more valuable to people than his trailblazers but still trailblazers is 600k this card being 800k first day it doesn't make any sense right these cards are going to fall off as they always do they're always the most expensive right away day one when they're in packs but that is the team of the week Frimpong is pretty nice for openda looks decent and actually luis alberto is going to be considered like a fodder inform for 87 rated card but he actually doesn't look that bad so a medium team of the week i guess you could say there and of course with the price range of interesting stuff yesterday those cards definitely were a topic of conversation let's go to sbc's where it all kicked off yesterday with another icon stoichkov and guys i'm gonna be honest yes this sbc is expensive but it is not bad value it is only 10 squads which is still a lot but 88 87 a few 86s and then an 85 and an 83 with the gold, bronze, bronze, gold, and silver squads, it's coming in at 770k. With the way fodder is right now, inflated, right, compared to where it was, this card was 950k before the SBC came out, before it was leaked to come out. If you want Stoichkov, that is not a bad price for that SBC. Now, to be completely honest, I would rather spend my 770k in a lot of other great SBCs that are available in right now and what also might be coming this weekend with Centurions. So I would probably not do the SBC, but if it's one that you want to get in because you're maybe a Barca fan or you're just a fan of Stoichkov in general, um, he played for a Barcelona mostly, but a couple other clubs in there, Chicago Fire. That's did not know about that. But that's an SBC you could craft away at if you would like to. Yesterday, we also had a Trailblazer 6 Challenge SBC, which, guys, this is a really good SBC to trade with solutions because it requires 31 chemistry. So if you go in here and take a look at some of the solutions, you can buy and sell some of these cards. They fluctuate down in value, up and down, uh, because people follow the solutions because it's a bit of a tougher SBC to do since it's got that chemistry requirement in there. So you can definitely trade with those. And we also had some dynamic duos yesterday, which, I mean, we can we can mention, but there's really not a whole lot there. It is an okay SBC with the two players. I would say maybe even a little bit better value than the League One ones. It just maybe doesn't have as much height because there's no five-star skiller like there was for those guys. You've got a center back with 79 pace, and you've got a left back with 90 pace. So not bad if you end up having a bunch of 84s down the line in the next 30 days, you could go ahead and get that one done. Also, yesterday in objectives, we do had we did have some more XP in a theme team pursuit. If you're on a low budget and you're trying to make some coins, trade with silvers from each of these leagues. They may not be going for too much more, uh, but they could be a place where you can bid on silvers today during supply from our key matchups and rewards maybe if they drop a bit. And of course, you could trade there on a low budget. Now, the biggest piece of content yesterday... We had no idea this was coming. EA didn't put it on their little cheat sheet for the week, a week of telling us what content was coming. Two new objectives. Trailblazer center back is the free one. Guys, I'm going to show you the card that I'm going to be doing this. I finally decided. I thought about doing Javi Hernandez. He looks really good. Or Javi Hernandez. Um, he's kind of a double upgrade. I have to put him into the Trailblazer slide tackler and then into the center back one. But I'm actually going to be upgrading. I don't know where he went. Um, there's a guy that I bought. 
it's going to end up going into the slide tackler and into the center back. It's, it's a crazy double Evo. I think it's a really nice one. There's a couple of really good center backs that you can find um, out of this. If you go on foot.gg or if you watch the channel video on the second channel that we uploaded yesterday, uh, I'll put a link to that up here right now. There's some nice cards in here. Elvedi is good. Lengley is good. Um, Chaloba is one that's being pretty popular. And I think the most popular one that people are doing is Carrere because Carrere, I believe, is extinct or 10,000 coins on the market. And if you take a look at his Evo 85 rated card, or I guess it's really an 84, you can't get him all the way to an 85 unless you have the Welcome to Evolutions available. He looks like a really, really solid card. Five star weak foot, German, and in the Premier League. That is a really solid card right there. So I guess this is how he's going to look for most of the people, right? 79 pace, 85 defense, 85 physical with the play styles that you get from completing this one. So that's why he's expensive on the market. I think this is a W. This is a W for sure um, for a center back. I like how it's, you know, you can evolve somebody who's got okay pace and make them a lot more decent. And you also get some, th you get three play styles as a part of it. That's a big part of it for me to make it worth it. It's not that much, uh, it's not that difficult either, actually. It's only, I think it's 15 games, but I'm hearing there's a lot of uh, golden gold that is going on in the Evo Lounge. And I would really um, make it a point to say to you guys too, if you're playing the Evo Lounge, just play golden goal. It makes it go a lot faster for everybody uh, because it is win matches. So if you're all playing golden goal, going to make the time go by faster and you'll get your wins quicker and you get that objective done quicker as well squad battles of course you kind of just have to do what you have to do now the other evolution that dropped yesterday is a 50,000 coin trailblazer striker evolution i had boato in my club right away i sold him for 7k that was nice and i'm going to be actually doing alessandrini from this guy's a blast from the past there's a couple reasons why i'm choosing him because number one he looks decent as is he's four star four star he actually is going to have eight traits on his card because he has a lot of base traits. I picked him up for like 1,200 coins. I think he's 3K now. Um, so this is who I'm going to be evoing in this. But there's a lot of people that are doing this evo um, just because there's some players that people have been wanting to evo for a long time. Matisse Tell is somebody who can be evolved through this. And a lot of people are looking through that. Edward is a very popular one. Uh, there's a lot. Eki TK for the PSG links. I think some people are doing. One thing I like to do in here is I like to sort by pace because it kind of shows you everybody goes after pace, right? Goodmanson. If you need a sleeper pick, check, uh, take a look at Goodmanson. 90 pace. He's got a four-star weak foot. He can play right mid and left mid in the Serie A. Uh, the Icelandic striker. There's so many good ones. Uh, Zarari from Burnley butchered the name there but four star five star striker left wing left mid boadu that we looked at uh there's there's a lot of really good cards in here that you could upgrade lasagna right remember the uh birthday lasagna from a couple years back that ea made those memes about on the loading screen van bergen uh i think didn't he have like a foundations card at one point um there's a lot of great cards in here guys that you could be upgrading so take a look on foot.gg or footbin whatever you look at evolutions or check out the video from yesterday on the second channel where we looked through a bunch of those cards i like it i mean i think this honestly to me because you get the play styles you get finesse shot right you get finesse shot you get chip shot and power header it's really a finesse shot play style for me that makes this uh trailblazer striker evolution kind of worth it even though it's 50k I think that might be one of the best paid evolutions besides Relentless Winger. I'd say that's the second best paid Evo that we have had so far. And also yesterday, we can't overlook this. This is going to be big in the future. We'll be talking about this in the coming days. I sounded like EA there, coming days. Player of the Month nominees for La Liga, Bellingham and Griezmann. It's between those two guys for this uh, award, guys. Griezmann had four goals in the month. Bellingham had three goals, one assist. I think it might end up going to Griezmann. I know so many people would love it to be Bellingham. I think it's going to be very close. It's going to be a neck and neck in the votes. And who really deserves it? I think it might edge toward Griezmann. We will have to see. But if you want to go and vote, I'll put that link down below in the comments, in the description of the video. Now, let's move on to the topic on hand today. Centurions. Because we got some more information and some more news about this upcoming promo. And... One thing I didn't notice right away on the loading screen yesterday is that EA is hiding coordinates in here. It's kind of over here on the top left. There's some coordinates down here on the bottom right as well. I think there's another one even right below the regular Centurion's car design. But it's also like, <laughs> who cares? We don't really have to go and look those up because we know who's in the team. We know who is leaked. This is the regular Centurion's design, and this is the Centurion's icon design. 
I think that design is freaking sick, man. That is sick. Like with the card, like has kind of like wings at the top, the the triangle with the everything. It just looks really, really sick. I'm really curious to see how players look on the card. Of course, we've got leaks and we can see how the players kind of look on it, but we'll just have to see how EA make the cards look when they actually release them. A few more leaks that we got yesterday. Gioro from the women's PSG team. That's a really good looking card. A lot of people, I think, use her um, base gold card for the PSG links. One of the best midfielders with PSG links that you can get in the game. She'll be good and probably used by a lot of people because of the links. Andridge for me, looks like pretty much a fodder card, but it could be decent. There's one there. Muniain, another kind of like fodder card. That's another one that is leaked. Moving up the list, we do have a pretty good one, I think. This is um, Felipe Anderson. He might be kind of a cheap beast. I mean, those stats right there alone make him look pretty solid. That's a card that has had some really great items in uh, Ultimate Teams of past. couple more names. Pirlo was added as a icon for Centurions. Probably more of a cheaper one. They wouldn't have to release a little bro of him. I think his icon card right now in the market is like 300-something K. So hopefully they give him a nice boost there. And, uh, man, kind of gives me vibes of the Team of the Year Pirlo from last year that I used a ton. So looking forward to that one. Marta is another card that has been leaked. Probably a little higher rated. I don't know. We'll have to see how much EA boost up her card. Um, I believe she has either 5-star skills or a 5-star weak foot. Yeah, she's 84 rated. Is she 5-star 5-star? She is 5-star 4-star. It's the skills that she has. Being Brazilian makes sense. Playstyle plus a flair, technical, uh, first touch trickster, Trivella, and acrobatic. So some nice playstyles there. On Marta, that'll be a nice card. And then this is the full list of players that are coming in the team. Now, I will say this. This looks to be a two-week promo, guys. So I'm going to imagine that even today on Thursday, we'll get some more information and news about who's going to be in Team 1 versus Team 2 because it's definitely not going to be all of these cards in packs at one time. I believe it has been confirmed that this is a two-week promo and it makes me really ask the question especially today as we get towards rivals rewards and we get towards that time of the week where a lot of us are getting different rewards and packs and weekend league and rivals specifically today are we saving the rewards guys like i just got my reward upgrade division five are we saving those rewards that is a big question that i have at the moment and really when i look at this team I just think, man, I have not packed a single Trailblazers card this entire week. These cards have been so difficult to pack. I've even opened all the 84 doubles that you can potentially open, and I haven't got a single one. I don't know about you guys, but a pack weight's been bad, right? So I think I might just end up saving my packs from rewards today just because there's no SBCs that I'm looking to do right now. I'm going to wait and see what we get on the weekend. And then also, I might as well wait until there's at least for the hope of something that's got a potential better pack weight for a promo coming out this weekend. And guys, with promo icons in packs, I don't know if any of you guys remember last year, some of the first promos that we had with promo icons in packs, they do seem to be more packable just because they come out of like 81. Like I packed foot birthday George, I, George Best icon card from an 81 plus player pick or something like that last year in full birthday. Like, they will come out of, you know, an 84 double. You could pack icons in, Centurion's icons this next week. They are treated like promo cards, but they are icons at the same time. So, for that reason alone, it almost makes me want to save my packs and at least give it a shot. Because right now, it's basically impossible to pack anything on this game anyways. So, that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment is I might actually save my packs. And that could impact the market a little bit today. Uh, but especially if they are going to say today that they're going to release those little bro versions. And I, I kind of hope, once again, guys, I kind of hope that they release the little bro versions. That's what I'm leading towards. The card design on the loading screen would maybe, maybe tell you that they're not going to do that. Because it's not like there's two designs here. But they could release one design and still have it be two meanings. Um, and maybe today they update the loading screen to show like they did with the uh, Trophy Titans, right? There was like the big bro icon had like the up carrot on the card and like the little bro had the down carrot on the card. So maybe there's going to be something like that. Maybe it won't be like that at all. But maybe we'll get some new news from an updated loading screen today since it's a brand new promo, at least for this year with the icons being involved with it. I don't think we had Centurion's icons last year. It was just Centurion's promo. Maybe EA will update the loading screen today and give us some more information. But that's still the biggest outstanding question. And I hope we learn about that today as long as I mentioned, as, as well as who is going to be in Team 1 versus Team 2. So we know who's going to be in packs this 
Friday. Now, if we're all saving packs this week, which some of you guys may not be, but if we're thinking about saving packs, what is going to be the movement on the market over the next day on this game? Well, of course, today is Rivals Rewards, which usually means good things for a lot of the market. Last week at Rivals Rewards, you may remember Ruben Diaz, Di Lorenzo, a lot of those cards really started to go up in value and, and a lot of golds went up in value as well because people were buying cards for teams. And I think this week, if I was going to start the trade with anything, I would maybe look at some of these Trailblazers because I think they could potentially have a rebound up today after rewards, maybe after marquee matchups as well. Harry Kane, I'm, I'm sad that I missed out on this. He's actually up 10K. He was down to 356. I would have picked one or two up there if I could have uh, been on at the time. He's now back up to 370. That was the lowest price that he has been. I mean, a lot of these cards, Sophia Smith, Marquinhos was 360 earlier. Cancelo's back to 360 himself. Um, Rabo was in the 185 range yesterday. A lot of these cards are reaching their lowest points. I think they could rebound a little bit today because these are some nice cards that people would want to try out and to use in their team. But really, guys, if I'm trading on the market today and I'm trying to buy something for a rise after rewards, I think I'm just going in the out-of-packs realm. I mean, I wanted to talk about this a little bit in today's video. You keep seeing these out-of-packs informs. Valverde, 930K. Come on, 200,000 coins. One of my favorite cards to trade with right now. Um... Kavicha is 123k. He was like 105 earlier in the week, I believe. You're starting to see these informs just go up in price a little bit more, and they're fluctuating very, very well. I just think that more and more people are getting coins to be able to buy cards like this. Like, look at him and Son. He's 700,000 coins. Team of the week one, Salah is like 750, 720. Like, he is going up. A lot of your more meta informs and out of packs just kind of continue to rise because people are getting coins and they're able to go and afford these bigger upgrades for teams and it's just kind of it's getting to the point where golds are starting to feel like they're really getting passed up and irrelevant now don't get me wrong Varane, Militao, Neymar, Holland some of those players still have a lot of you know they're still very overpowered and still half of my team is still gold cards right but I just think that this we're, we're getting towards a time of the year where I don't know if I want to be trading with gold cards consistently like we have been every single week if people are going to be looking past these and look into all the special cards that have been coming out, especially with a new promo coming out this week, like we do every single week. I think I'm going to start slowly going away from the golds, except for fodder, and start turning more to the out-of-pack specials, the more rare cards that should normally see better fluctuations anyway, um, besides from the earlier of the game when there's not that many there. So that's one thing I wanted to kind of mention in today's video. I just believe that maybe as we get towards this weekend and next weekend, usually when we get into the early parts of November, I've mentioned it before, it's those gold cards that really start to tail off in value as new cards come out, new promos come out, people upgrade to the cooler stuff instead of just using those base gold cards in their teams. And uh, yeah, we kind of know how that goes every single year. So that's kind of what I would be looking at. The heroes, the icons, that sort of thing right now, that just kind of draws me in a bit more, especially in the stages of the market that we are in where not that the market's like scary at the moment, but I just feel like we're closer to the market being ready for a drop than a rise. So that's kind of stuff that I'm looking for. As I say rise, we're going to look at ri a Risa or rise as some people call him. Um, you know, with the Odegaard SBC, that is leaked. This is a card that I would keep a close eye on. If I see him at like one. 130 flats, kind of my buy price for him. This might be one of your last windows to buy in on a card like him or another investment. I know some people are looking at like Gold Erling Holland for the Odegaard. Once we get closer and closer to this weekend with this promo coming out, those investments are going to start to slowly continue to rise. Um, you know, you've got like the Rashford. If we figure out that Rashford is not in this week of the promo, his gold card is definitely going to drop, and that would be a whole other situation in its own right. But since he was leaked early on, I've got mine listed for a lazy right now. Um, it's still looking good for him. His gold card is still up and kind of rising. And same thing for a lot of the other cards like Griezmann that are going to be going out of packs or are out of packs right now for Team of the Week. So that's kind of the state of the market right now, guys. I'm going to keep it honestly chill with investing today with rewards. I'm probably just going to try to pick up a card or two here or there and not go crazy with it and just keep my coins semi-liquid, which just feels kind of like the safe thing to do right now. Let's talk about another place in the market where there's a little bit of movement right now. Road to the knockouts. Um, PSG beat um, Milan yesterday, but this card dropped off so much. Kalulu. I actually picked up two Kalulus at 150,000 coins. He's back up to right around 160 at the moment, bar a couple undercuts that you see on the market right now. 
I don't know how his price is going to fare today. A lot of these cards, they've either stayed the same, like Modric is still 360, or they've gone down. Lamer is down. He was all the way down to like 200 and I think it was 215 yesterday. He's back up a little bit now, which is nice if you bought him in the low 210s, 215 range. If you have them, I would probably wait until tomorrow. Again, looking for that potential upgrade. Erling Holland. Uh, Lewandowski, I think there's a couple other cards now that have confirmed their first upgrade happening tomorrow. Lewandowski was down to like 515k. He's only 520 right now. So again, with these cards too, yes, they have fluctuations. Um, and a few of them are down like Kalulu, like Openda, like DePaul, since they did not win yesterday. Um, looks like DePaul is, is bouncing back a bit. He was down to 243 and now he's almost looks like 270. These cards are still rare. You can trade with them. You just have to time it. It's all about the timing with these. Oh, wow. Look at DePaul now. 275. So he's really bounced back now from being 240K. You find the rare ones. You find the fluctuations. And you, some, you can make some pretty good coins on those cards. Um, and I would assume today as well, there's going to be some prices that drop heading into content. Probably Joao Pedro, if some people list his card up uh, before the game today. Maybe Classy, maybe Luis Diaz. That'd be a card that I would sell in the hype for sure today just because it's so expensive. That way you don't have to risk it. Maybe Hinkapi as well from the uh, Europa League live card competition. Just be careful with those. Upgrades though for teams that have gotten two wins. Those are the only upgrades are going to be coming out. Those will be tomorrow in the early morning hours. Probably like, I think it's usually when I'm asleep, like 6 a.m. Eastern time, which I think... Maybe even earlier than that, like 8 a.m. or 11 a.m. Um, UK time, which sometimes it's at re it's really random. So we'll just have to see how EA do it uh, this year, of course, with that stuff going on in the game with the upgrades coming tomorrow. Last thing I want to cover is what in the world's content going to be today. Probably not expecting too much. We do have a Juan Foyth SBC that has been leaked. That's the last um, Trailblazers card that we should get. I think that'll be dropping today. And marquee matchups. Other than that, I'm expecting a quiet day because yesterday was such a wild day uh one thing i will say though is i think we're gonna get a patch i don't know if it's happening today i want i have to go back and look at the ea tweet uh, but ea did tweet out a big time patch with a lot of news and information in it which seems a bunch to be more little fixes than anything super duper massive um one of the things they did mention though is that in some situations uh, the ball would have incorrectly stuck to the dribbler's leg they didn't express anything specifically about the Trickster Plus playstyle, but the way that that sounds and the way EA worded their tweet earlier when they removed it is that maybe the Trickster Plus is going to come back today. So watch your cards like Rolfo and then Di Maria and Neymar. You know, Di Maria is already up like 2,000 coins. He was 38, 39,000 coins. If I saw him back at that price, I'd maybe buy one or two just to see if he gets the Trickster Plus back on his card. That might help his price rise up just a little bit. I know that he's... You know, not getting an upgrade because they lost. It's not looking good for them right now in Champions League. But the fact that he would have Trickster Plus back, I think would be a draw for some people to go back out and use the card. So not saying I'm investing, just saying to watch that corner of the market. If you see a price that you like, might be an opportunity where you could invest. But we're going to keep tra trading, keep watching the market today on a Thursday. And we'll see if EA do have anything to surprise us with. But honestly, it's going to be a good day to get some champs qualities in. And to maybe work on some evolutions, guys, because I got to get working on these so I don't fall behind because I only have a couple days to start six days to start the uh, slide tackler for my other Chinese Super League player that I'm going to be pairing up with Romain Alessandrini. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the video tomorrow. As always, Nathan Accountant. Peace out.